Yes. How many did it all start? Um, it started with Tattoo Arts Block in Tudor and Broadway in 2002. The shop was literally no bigger than like four metres by three. It was tiny. And that's where the baby was. Ooh. What's it like being over? A female-run business in the world of tattoo. Female-run business. Well, my mum, like I said, she opened the shop when I was 12. Oh, wait. Really? Yeah, well, just, no. It was a month after my 13th birthday. I can't remember. 12 or 13, somewhere around there. Um, no, I'm lying, I was 11, because it's going to be 12, it's going to be 13 this year. 11, I think. Um, being... With a, a woman's tattoo shop, and it's all run by women. So my mum owns it. I work here. My big sister works here. Um, like it, the stigma that you get from going to tattoo conventions, and everyone there is men with big beards and bald heads and loads of tattoos, and then they see us walking in, like females, hair done. Nail, my nails are done right now. Nails done, makeup, tattoos. At first, like six, seven, eight years ago, they'd see us and be like, who, who are these people? Because back then there was hardly any female tattoo models. There was hardly any magazines that was promoting women as being tattooed females. Um, everything was kind of like based around guys in whatever culture they might come from, it was guys. So we did get a lot of stigma. We got people threatening to shut us down in the first year of us having tattoo hotspot. And um, they came and tried to bully their way into a shop and threaten my mum, threaten me, my sister, everyone, and basically say like, if you don't close the shop, we will close it just because we were women. And my mum's not an artist; she's not a body piercer, so she does get a lot of like, you're a woman for one. She does a tattoo and doesn't pierce for two and you own two tattoo shops that have been going for like nearly 13 years now. Which doesn't happen. Tattoo shops pop up all over the place, last two, three, four years, and then the hype just dies down. Like it doesn't ever, it's not sustainable. I think because we're women, we understand how to keep things relevant and how to make people feel comfortable when we walk through the door. So do, 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 um, do you sort of support your are you aware of the South London community that you support our young talent? Definitely, definitely. Like, we completely, completely, like, I've lived in South London, like, mum's all us all up in the South. Um, whether it's from Wandsworth Road, to Two In, Staple Junction, to Wandsworth, like, we've all lived within the borough of South London, all our lives. So we know pretty much everyone. Anyone that wants to get into tattooing will come to us first. Obviously, I'm the age that I am, so I've got a generation that I've grown up with. My sister's a lot older than me, so her generation. My little brother, my little sister have got their own little generation. So all their friends that are interested in becoming, like even, even if they go to art school and they just want to learn to take techniques of painting, they'll come in, they'll sit down with one of us and be like, okay, so can we come and sit in here on like two days a week? And just get, like, they might have one of those tattoos, just get feedback from the artist on how to do stuff. Because it is like a little hub of knowledge. Like, people from South London, from anywhere really, but come from South, I say South London, don't really have enough resources to be able to walk into somewhere and be like, okay, I need help with this. Like, do you mind helping? And because the, the work line that my mum comes from before, she's working a lot within the community, like with drug addicts and working with all that kind of stuff. So she's got, like, this this helping side of her that she's like anyone will just she'll just bring them in and just help with the garbage. Everyone that we employ are artists. You won't ever, ever see in any one of the shops someone going to the, we, we have flash there for reference so people can look at it and get an idea and then grow up on it. But you will never ever and I've put my life on this see anyone going to the flash tracing it and getting a tattoo on them. 
wouldn't happen. Without any sort of alteration, it wouldn't happen. It wouldn't, we do not encourage that because a thousand and one people might have that tattooed on them and then it doesn't make you unique. It just makes you the same as part of and that's not what we're trying to promote at all. What's the future plan? Expansion. I'm trying to, take, I'm trying to make it take over the world. That's the plan. Where can we find um, you can find us on Instagram, King King Tattoo, all one word. Um, Twitter, which is Kinky underscore Ink. <laughs> I think this is so bad, I don't know. This. Um, the Facebook is Kinky Ink Incorporated, spelled I N K, not I N T. Um, tattoo Hotspot 2 Tin is the two in branch. But yeah, Instagram mainly. Where you can holler at your girl. It's fun. Yeah. And I, and I heard that you're the new host. Yeah, I am. So you'll be seeing this space. A lot more.